Morning everybody. Hello. Well not morning, it's lunchtime really. I've been um, busy busy this morning doing oh, stuff for the site. Not does my head in but just actually working out technology things and match to me's and how it's working and and just seeing how many of you have done match to me um, and how many of you buy without doing match to me and the joy of match to me so i'm kind of <laughs> my head is a buzzing with ideas but i'm gonna there we are yes so i'm just gonna do a little cleanse today i woke up this morning and my skin is just a little bit dry I'm very aware that I've got to stop smoking. I really am. Any of you there who are struggling? Um, but I just, I'm noticing it on my face. So this morning I'm going to do a big exfoliation and then I'm going to do a really nice new facial oil. So Gold Farden Advanced Doctor's Scrub is a real strong exfoliator. And there's one which is um, Doctor's Scrub and Advanced. I'm actually using today just the Doctor's Scrub. It's slightly softer and it's in more cream base, whereas the other one is more like microdermabrasion in a jar because it's very rough on your skin. When you do any kind of exfoliation like this, which is quite meaty, you have to be careful around your eye area. So I don't do around under there, but I do do my nose and I'm really going to do today a lot under above my lip because that's what I've been noticing. And I want to prep my lip for putting a really strong lip on today. So many women come in here to Trini London at home and they say, can I wear a bright lip? And we put bright lips on them and people are worried about wearing a bright lip because they think their lips are too thin or they think they can't, their character doesn't suit a bright lip. And I think everyone can wear a bright lip, but it's about prepping your skin it's about having hydrated lips because a dry cracked lip wearing a strong lipstick is not the best look. So whenever I exfoliate with this kind of exfoliator, I spend a lot of time around my lip area. And I think when we, as our face grows up, uh, instead of saying ages, as our face grows up, people age either on their forehead or around their eyes or they age on their lower mouth. And because I've done Botox since I was 35, I don't have so many lines on my forehead um, and I get my sort of, my lines growing above my lip. So that's my area. So I really am scrubby dubby there. And on the lip itself, I don't know how many of you when you exfoliate are actually doing the lip itself, but I think it's a key thing is to do that lip area, go back and forth, and you can even use a toothbrush, you know, if you don't have, um, if you don't have access to an exfoliator. But especially in winter, when we're going from very cold weather into central heating, our lips can have a tendency to be drier. Um, so I'm just putting that on now, like this. Ah, oh, waking myself, waking myself up. I hope you all had a good weekend. We did a nice shoot yesterday for Trini London. We had a few new ladies in and um, we've got lots of different women to show you on the site. And it's exciting when new women come in because redheads always say you don't have enough redheads on the site. And we had a lovely new redhead who joined our team of Trini Tribe yesterday and did some photographs with us. So welcome to her. Uh, so I'm gonna go a bit red here, but that's okay. Just gonna take it off now, one second. Oh, dog, 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 dog. Okay. And then I'll get down to the nitty gritty. So I want to do a facial oil today. And there we go, hold on. Mm. Mm. Done. In fact, I want to choose. I've got a very good new tool. Let me just get it, but I want to show you. Have we got the Teresa Tame spoon? Teresa Tame, who I did the microneedling with, um, I showed the Facebook on microneedling. If you haven't seen it yet, please have a look at it. But she has this wonderful product, well, not product, tool in her kit for microneedling, this tool which I'm going to use for my massage now. And I'm going to take Romilly Wilde's Active Boost Face Oil. I like Romilly Wilde. She's a wonderful um, organic, natural um, skincare specialist. I'm gonna rub that in, 
Smells delicious. Oh, go on. Oh, it's really lovely. Okay, put that on like that. And now I'm gonna get the tool of Teresa. And as I talk to you, one second, let me get my glasses. I will start working this product. Ah, there we go. So it's like that. And you can just kind of, you know, push up your, push up your cheekbones and really rub a lot of oil in. She has it so that you can rub in her, her peptide serum that you use for her microneedling. But I just like this to push in the oil, push up my cheekbone. And it's quite a heavy tool and flat. I quite like the idea it's flat. I usually use my Jean Philbert, but I'm, I, I really like this. Really like this. Uh, the jacket is from Zara and um, I got it in the winter. And then I've got on this kind of mad shirt, which I'll show you in more detail later, from my new Zara purchase. I did a What's in Zara, which is on Facebook, um, which I did on Friday. And my God, we could film in there. My phone actually worked. because Sometimes I just wasn't getting a signal in the Zara and the King's Road, which I have to say is the best Zara. And many of you ladies talk about how um, you don't have the same clothes in your local Zara and I think that's very frustrating and I've mentioned this before but I've come to the conclusion and I think I found this out actually that Zara have different category of stores and they have kind of the A store which is like on Oxford Street the one opposite Selfridges which is the Bond Street store which always has a lot of stock as well because I think their stock room is in the same place and then Kings Road is a very good one and there's certain ones which are, you know, like Reading at the Oracle is a, not a great Zara because they don't have the, the sort of top products. They have more Zara basic and less Zara woman. So each store buys, well not buys, but gets different things. Um, and I, I understand, appreciate that frustration. And then abroad, obviously, it's gonna be different too. So putting that on, and I had my eyelashes done today with Edie. And I think having eyelashes for a month, I had time off from eyelashes. And I think that was a good thing to do because not that I feel Edie does bad eyelashes, she does exceptionally good eyelashes, but I always think it's good to give one's um, regimes a break. And my eyelashes had probably got a little bit shorter. I hadn't lost eyelashes because Edie is very careful whenever you do fake lashes. The important thing is you put one lash on one lash and a lot of these Russian lashes, you know, this kind of Russian mink look, puts three or four of those lashes on one lash so there's a higher propensity that they will break and um, your eyelashes will be ruined temporarily, sometimes long term. So it's so key that you find the right person to do it for you. Um, Edie's done mine for about three or four years now. But she puts one mink lash, uh, one um, silk lash on one of my lashes like that. And for when I'm traveling, I find it easier just to um, have my lashes and, and kind of wake up in the morning and feel everything looks fine without my having to, to put mascara on. But I then did castor oil morning and night for a month and that really helps to make your lashes stronger and longer. So when she did my lashes um, today, she said, Trini, your lashes have grown so much and um, they are all about uh, 13 in length, 13 millimeters in length. And usually she puts on 11 and that's the length of my lashes. So it shows how much it works. And I think taking the biotin as well, I take about 30,000 micrograms or whatever, but it's, it's I take three um, biotin every morning and I think that happens. I exfoliate Dexter Dream Dog um, every day and I do different exfoliations. Sometimes I just do a kind of, um, uh, you know, glycolic exfoliation. Other times I do a, f a physical one. And I do, you know, for me it really works and I think my skin, is more even as a result and any product I then put in afterwards works quite well because there isn't too much dead skin on my um, face for the products to have to, to get through which we don't like. Um, good morning Eliza, good morning Deb, good morning Reva, good morning Erica, good morning 50 and something, I love that, good morning um, everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning from Wales. 
Hello, the page of the fashion. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know who you are, but hi, says Miss Ryan. Hello. Um, so I'm going to do a strong lip look today and finding the strong lip for you is, is something that if you do match to me on our site, you can find out, um, Eliza, the worst area around your mouth is, is your mouth too, I agree with you. Forgot to ask, I'm gonna get back to that, I was just saying, forgot to ask during your Facebook Live on skin needling, dermal roller versus dermal pen. Two different things because a dermal pen is something that you get someone else to do. And Teresa Tame has done the dermal pen on me. And it's a kind of perhaps a stronger version of microneedling. The dermal roller is, uh, um, um, you know, with needles generally. And those are the ones you can buy yourself. You can also do microneedling with somebody and they will use a stronger one. So you could go up to a one needle. Some people do two, but the at home versions only go up to 0.5 because I think legally in England, that's all, that, that's the most you can do it to without having to get a professional to do it. So my skin is prepped um, and Creole's really awake now. I've got this look, I love this shirt because it's, it's like a mad kind of long lapel and you can do different things with it. So you can do a kerchief, but I'm sort of, I'm in the mood for a bit of check. I'm in the mood for some check, in the mood for some check. Um, doesn't dry your lips out. It doesn't dry my lips out actually, because I'm going to, you know, when I put that oil on, I'll also rub the oil into my lips a bit. There's a very good um, product from Botanical Blend. It's called Botanical Blend, and I think the brand is called 12, but they do a pure hyaluronic um, roller. I don't know if I have it here, it's so good. Um, let me just see in my lip. I had my lip balms. Okay, if you want things for dry lips, I'm going to show you a few things that I think are great. So there are people who do lip treatment like Sensai. They do a total lip treatment and this actually just, I'll put it on now, you can see it's very um, uh, greasy but the texture is like that. And you can put that on and do a little massage with that. There's an overnight one in a pink pot which is a, a mask for lips and this is called La Neige and it's a sleep lip sleeping mask. I've put that on overnight, put a thick layer on it. It really is good. Another thing for lips, I've got them all here, is Dr. Lancer and they have a lip kind of plumping serum, volume enhancing lip product, which actually works. Um, I'm gonna put these all on the blog later. Let me get them out so I can tell you. Um, and then you've got things like Hourglass, who do a very nice lip balm, and it's really greasy, but it will give you hydration. I like the applicator, you can press it down on your lips. Mm. So those are all good. My favorite of all time, that is so expensive, but there is no better lip balm ever on the market, ever, 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 is Creme de la Mer. Um, and it's a, just a phenomenal product. I, I buy them irregularly at Duty Free, but it looks like it looks like Vaseline, but it isn't like Vaseline because it penetrates the lips and it goes in, it has a slightly minty taste. Lots of men use this as well. I have a lot of male friends who, who are addicted to this product. Um, fantastic, fantastic product. Let me just put that down there. So having your lips in a good stage before you con consider putting on a bright lip is important because you really want them to look their best. Um, best moisturize for winter combination skin, <clears throat> There's so many. I did do top moisturizers in my Secret 7, so you could look at that online and maybe get some information from that um, because there are so many. And just, you know, <clears throat> neck creams, Denise. I, <clears throat> I think doing microneedling is very good for the neck with serums. Neck creams themselves, I don't really use. I was trying Neostratus triple neck. I don't, I don't, I've never felt neck creams do it. I think if you have a crepey neck, then there's things like putting on a topical hormonal cream like a progesterone or something, or you know, esterel creams um, are a better solution than a um, souped up neck cream. That's my thoughts, but you have to be at the stage where you need extra hormones, and then if you can topically apply them, um, if you're taking something like HRT, you can't put added hormonal on, so you really need to take doctor's advice on that. Um, you did the dermal roller yesterday, Corrine, followed by Retin-A. My face is burning red. What to apply to soothe it? All right, Diane, you might have gone a bit mad. Um, I think there's something from Eye Shield. 
Um, but there's a few things. If you really have an issue, Colloidal Silver, I really like, Silver Shield. Um, and then you could do something uh, from Boots, um, a Dermacare, it's a hydrocortisone cream, but you know, be careful. There's La Roche-Posay, who have a instant soothing fluid for your face and eyes. That's a good product. You can pick that up in Boots. Eye Shield, which I do not have here, I have a kind of recovery balm, which is a very good product also that you can use. Um, so that, I hope that helps you. Um, I hope that helps you, I hope that helps you. Okay, so I'm gonna go on now to doing a face with a bright lip. And when I do a bright lip, I generally keep my makeup quite clean because you don't want to be doing too much on your eye and too much on your um, lips because I think it's a very overdone look. But <clears throat> hello Trini from Dr. Pawpaw in Budapest. Hello Dr. Pawpaw. Can I just say also, let's mention Dr. Pawpaw if I've got it here. I ran out, I ran out. Hold on, let me see, because that is also a very nice, a very nice lip balm. And I've run out, which is such a bore. It's such a good lip balm. Do I have it here? Oh, I do. Can I just say, ha, ah, hang on, do I have it in my bag? Oh, that's such Dr. Pawpaw, I love as a lip balm as well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, and you can buy that in Topshop and lots of different places. Random question. Notice you have Roger Gallier perfume. Have you been trying for, to buy for ages? Can never find where do I purchase? So difficult. I get Imperial and I just have to buy it online. I've got it from um, Lloyd's Chemist at Selfridges. But Imperial, which is this one, it's like 4711, but it's a fabulous, fabulous fragrance. It's very fresh and citrusy and just, it's not heavy. Okay, I'm gonna start my makeup because I've got a one o'clock appointment, I've gotta go. So, the key things are even skin tone for a bright lip. So, I'm gonna start with my BFF, which I've decanted, um, just to give myself a little, a little glow to my skin and to put some SPF on because I have been doing quite a few retinols and microneedling. So I wear SPF every day, even in winter. Um, and this is SPF 30. So that goes on there really quickly, really quickly. And then I'm using my Just A Touch in Trintron and I'm going to put that under my eyes, like that there, under my eyes. And then I'm gonna do the other side, just cleaning up a little bit to my slightly late night. Um, there we go like that. It blends in incredibly easily. Um, I was looking today, it was really interesting, at who, buy, who buys what from Trini London. And over half of you have bought foundation, which I think is fantastic. Um, and even 60% of you have bought um, the BFF. And I wondered, what would be really interesting, because I'm trying to find out this information, is how many people wear foundation? So could you all just Say now, if you're watching, if you wear foundation or not, and if you do every day or not. I'd love that because you are my best research group to know um, about how women do things and um, just how you feel about foundation. I do generally wear it every day now because I'll just do this bit under my eye and I'll do around my nose um, and it just covers where I need to cover it. And then the rest of my skin, I'll let, to, I'll let glow with the BFF. When I do a um, strong lip, I do put on a cheekbone product because I want to have that sense of contouring, but not to be really overly contoured. So I'm going to use cheekbones, which is our contour product, and I start around my hairline and I bring it down and it just gives a shadow of where you might want to create more of a cheekbone and shape to your face. So I just put that like that. You see, it gives a mwah, mwah, mwah. It gives a mwah, mwah, mwah. And then before I apply my um, strong lip, I'll do face finish. And what face finish does really, it's a miraculous product. I'll sort of take a bit like that and I'll put it on my lip and then I'll blend it in. And it's gonna really help to soften the lip line and it also tones down any shininess. So if you're a tiny bit shiny, you put it on like that and it just, Turns down shininess but without being powdery. If you have oily skin, you can use it before you apply on just a touch and it would take away and act like a primer. So it would just tone down any oil and absorb it in the product so you don't feel you get so oily. And it will also keep your makeup lasting longer if you have an oily skin. So I just put it around there. I don't put it on the bottom so much because I don't have that. And I'm gonna use a little bit first 
A tiny smattering of an eye, just the soupsonest bit in Magician. Just like so little, literally like that. It's nothing. It's just a nod to some eyeshadow. And then because I've just had my lashes done today, I'm going to do Talika Eyelash Conditioning Gel, which I love because I use that just to lift up my lashes and give them a glisten. And when you've had lashes done, you can't use any oil-based product on your lashes or oil-based cleansers. So when I clean my skin and I use like my Demamiel that I love, I'll do it around here and here. But when I'm taking off my eye makeup, I use the, um, the one from Boots, Bioderma, which doesn't have oil in it. Um, so now I'm going to do my lip. What else do I need to do? Nothing really, hang on. There was something I've missed. Oh, blusher, yes. So doing blusher is important when you do a bright lip because you don't want to just have everything about the lip. But what I do is I put my lip on first and then I do my brow and my blusher. So I'm going to use, I'm just about to pick up the wrong color. Of all our bright lips, I'm going to use today Demon, which is a real red, like a pillar box red, and it's the red in my match to me. So I just start in the middle and then I lay out. And with a black and white check, I love a bright lip. There we go. And the eyes pop immediately. There we go. Like that, and then over here. Like that. Take the last bit out with your finger. And then I'll just look in here if I've done it. Oh, I have, okay. So that's my bright lip. But I have got Quite a, it's quite strong now, you see the lips. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of blusher on, and today I'm gonna to put on some Electra. And Electra is a very soft color, but um, it just gives a little hint, a little hint of blush. There's Electra. So I'll just put that on there. A little bit of blush, not too much blush. There. And most importantly, I haven't had my eyebrows done for a bit, and I usually get them dyed, but you want to have a strong brow when you do a strong lip. So I'm taking, I've hardly any left of this, but my Laverna eyebrow gel. And I'm just going to put this, and I put it, I start by going above my brow line because I have a very long forehead and I like to just take up a little bit of space with this above like that. So just that's a stronger brow. And it's, do you see it sort of balances out? And I'll do the other side. There. there, voila, I'm done. Two minute makeup, ladies. That's what we like, because we don't have time for everything. Let me just quickly um, see Vaseline's lips. Yes, exactly, I will. Um, uh, totally agree with the Zara reading story. Very frustrating, I know it is very frustrating. Very, very frustrating, but that's, that's what happens. Um, have I tried magnetic lashes? I haven't. I've heard different things about them and I feel that they could be quite heavy on the eye, but I'd be really interested um, how to remove long wear eyeshadow when using lash extensions since oil is not allowed. I would try the Bioderma, which is the, um, the uh, makeup remover and you can find makeup removers which don't have oil in them. So just to be aware of that and to use perhaps a little um, um, tea tip, you know, a little um, Q-tip to do it. I think that's argan oil you use, hello, hello. It does not again. You said the eyelash stuff you ate gave you a goatee. It did, well, the, the, no, what I'm saying, dipshit chicken, <laughs> is that I felt my hair grew longer everywhere. And, um, and so I, that included down here. Um, thank you, Lily Paul. Are you going to finish the bag clearing for yesterday? The bag clearing, yes. Oh my God, I, yes I am, and I didn't finish that. I might do that in the cab on the way. Um, yes, uh, please, please do come for a facial to complement skincare. Tatty permanent makeup, that's very sweet, darling. I, it's just whether I have time, um, but I will, you know, just see. Hello from Athens, tell us a good mascara for volume and length. I love volume and length. Mm. I'd say Lancome Hypnodrama is fantastic. I also like for volume and length, funny enough, a new one from La Roche-Posay, which is actually for volume and length and good for sensitive eyes. So those are probably my top ones. There are some people who love the um, Saint Laurent one, Something Baby. I haven't tried it though. And also I'm funny about having plastic brushes. I don't, many how, I don't know how many of you prefer 
a um, plastic brush to a bristle brush. Really interesting. Hi Trini, I'm 21. I'm looking for some advice on basic skincare routines. Any recommendations? Uh, Chloe, depends on budget. Um, if you are first, second job, I would consider The Ordinary. I think they have a great range. Um, and I think they have something for everyone. And, and it's just about a good cleansing routine when you're 21. Going to bed, taking off your makeup. Um, maybe you could start a little vitamin C if you have uneven skin tone or you had some spots when you were a little bit younger. Those kind of things are important. Um, and best moisturizer for combination skin to use in the winter, darling. Go on to my... Um, um, uh, I am coming to London in March. Is it possible to come and try your stack? I think in March we'll still have something. Hello, Trini. I have ordered from the website and I have written the, um, and I wrote the correct address. I do not know what happened and it turned out cancelled. I will check that. I will go back and check that for you, darling. Please go on to the Zen desk, Trini London. If you could email them, that would be wonderful. And just say what happened and we'll sort it out for you. Um, and, um, and it should be resolved. I, it could be just something to do with the site because we had an issue or two with this. No, but I, I think it, yeah, we'll, we'll try it. We'll take you through, we can take you through the order again. At what stage in the microneedling would you use the ordinary peel? I would use it before I microneedled because even in Teresa Tame's fabulous kit, she has a lactic peel to do before. And I think you want to have really um, clean skin to do it from. Sensai, great products, aren't they? Um, and uh, I've, I've overdone the use of retinol, dermal roll and vitamin C. Can you recommend an emergency remedy for very dry and skin? Ladies! Do these things gently, start them gently. I know you're keen to rush forth and start a new regime, but really be gentle on our skin. I've done it for ages and, and start gently. So Eye Shield has this balm. Go on to Victoria Health, look up Eye Shield and you'll see this balm. It's very good for those kind of things. Um, the TT Gold Massage Tool vibrates, just twist the button. Oh my God, isn't that just funny? Hang on, on, off. You know what? I've got to work out how to work it. It's not, it's not doing it yet. Maybe I've got to, okay. This vibrates, I didn't know. I'm gonna find out. Um, <laughs> thank you. Any plans for JAT and a combination for combination skin? Tried it out all different ways with a primer, just slid all over the face and came off in the clothing. Um, just a touch. We um, do use it on women with oily combination skin, but we suggest you put on the face finish first. So try that. Creme Blanc is unbelievably expensive. I know, I'm sorry, I did tell you before, it's the most expensive one. Um, but it's fantastic, it really, really is fantastic. Best treatment for lack of firmness on the jowls. Massage, little micro needling. You know, it's, it's, it's getting the texture of your skin to react and, and keep its elasticity and anything that does that is good. I've got to go because I'm really late now. I just see my appointment is in four minutes. Ladies, have a great day. I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.